What's going on guys? Goofy here coming at you with another Gmod tutorial, Dark RP tutorial. I know it's been a long, long while. I've been kind of struggling to get content out to all y'all lately. But I promise this one will be a banger. It'll be very helpful to all y'all and you'll just get through Dark RP with ease after this one. Now my last uh, Dark RP video was about um, fading doors and how they work and I made that pretty simple and but it was five minutes and I thought eh, I could have made it a little better made it a little shorter but I probably wouldn't have got all the stuff in so I'm going to try and make this one this video very simple and this video is just gonna be about fading do or not fading doors shooting holes right so you got your big base going I have other base builds on my t channel about with shooting holes fading doors all that but you need a way to defend your fading doors right so I'm just going to show a very simple variation of a shooting hole, but you can apply this to any context you wish. So we're going to start with this prop. I like this prop. It's called the shop front one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can't really move stuff today. So yeah, there's people outside. Oh, please don't, don't do it to me, bro. Oh, he's a chef. Okay, I guess he's living next to me. Okay, so it's this one. It's the shop front. Well, can I can I base with you, please? Are you kidding me? I start one video, and this happens to me. Okay, we're just gonna ignore him. So you color it whatever you want. Make sure it's a solid color, so you can't you can see through, I'm good. but I'm they good can't building. see through. Just like this, you're gonna want to color it. I'm good at building. Now, how I like to do it is I like to put this in the ground so you have a better chance of shooting. This is pretty nice because you can shoot, but you can't really shoot down. So what I like to do is come up with a precision tool and just have it on one and shoot it a few times, right click it, and it's a little lower so you can shoot downwards. Next, you want to take the stacker tool. Now you can see that way points up, that way is front, and that way is right. So you want to make it left because you want to put it upwards. So we'll go with left and we'll put it at like 25, which will make a shooting hole about that size, okay? Now that's all you're going to want to do. Your settings are going to be with freeze, weld, no collide. It's going to be relative to prop and left. One stack size and just this raised to 25. Everything else on zero. Okay. Next, you want to take the next. You want to take the same stacker tool, but reset the offsets. So everything's at zero, but still left. And it'll put something just right there. Now you want to take your color tool. And you want to color the two things you stackered so they are the same color as that. All right, good. Then you'll be like this, okay? Then you want to take your fading door, and as last time, not start faded, not toggled, no, not no effect. You want to set it to numpad zero. You want to shoot the middle, just like so. So when you hit your button, it opens. Then you want to take your button, okay? And you toggle mode will just set it so when you click the button, the fading door opens and stays open but if you don't have it on toggle mode you have to hold in the key okay so like here I'm holding it in I can open and close it whenever I want right but with toggle mode I click it once and it stays open I can run all the way over here it'll stay open you have to hit it again okay well we're gonna make this quick because apparently I'm starving but you want to make this not toggled, okay? But make sure this button, numpad zero, and the button is numpad zero. It doesn't have to be numpad zero, but whatever you want it to be, right? So you want to place it right below it, and you can hold it. Depending on the server, you can have, usually you have to hold fading doors open for five seconds, right? So what I usually like to do is I like to have it on non-toggle, hit it, shoot a bit, and then crouch, and then wait five seconds or whatever. Then you can release it and you're good to go, right? But that's pretty much all a shooting hole is. And you can check the other videos out on my channel, my other base builds. And there's some more complex shooting holes in them. I don't describe how to make them. But it's just kind of like a complex... I can't take it! Get me out! Jeez, okay. It's like a complex version of the shooting hole, okay? So we're going to do this and we're just going to show how this looks. So, see... My head's peeking out and I can crouch and you can't see me, but like I can say, I can see the camera, camera can't see me. I let go of the thing and then I hit E, I'm here, 
just like so that's a shooting hole for you guys hope you guys did enjoy the video sorry for the little bit of a uh, starvingness in the video i didn't really mean for that to happen but it kind of did but uh thank you for watching if you have any questions about how to make shooting holes or any other thing in gmod just feel free to leave it in the comments i'll try my best to get back to you and i hope to see you guys in another video sometime soon be sure to subscribe like the video i'll see you next time bye